Hello there, Rabina. Okay, let's see. So in recent years, with technological advancements and cheap mediums of transportation, the number of people traveling locally has increased considerably. Okay. Here, I've just said the, the number of people traveling has increased considerably. Now, why did I shorten the sentence? Pause the video and try and think possible reasons. Well, the reason I, I shortened it was because we've got a lot of information and we don't want to overwhelm the reader, especially with just the topic sentence, okay? Um, so we could have just said a lot of people are traveling. Um, the number of people traveling locally has increased considerably. That would have been fine. Or just traveling. Okay, then we don't limit it to locally. We could also say international. Uh, it's much more broad. Well, some say that the increase that, yeah, the increase in the number of travelers have many benefits. Others, some say that the increase in the number of travelers has many benefits because it's increased. Others argue that there are certain disadvantages. Okay. In this essay, I shall discuss the positive and negative aspects of this phenomenon using examples of India and Nepal. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, now, um, perhaps I would have shortened this. Let me just do a word count. One second. I'm just going to do a word count here. Uh, okay, so that's good. 260, that's fantastic. Now, Hopefully in the next essay, what I want you to do, okay, what I want you to do in the next essay, sorry, is just try and make your introductions a little bit more brief, and this way we can put more attention onto the body paragraphs where we're going to pick up the majority of the points. Firstly, travel and tourism contributes tremendously, contributes to, contributes to, okay, that's the uh, preposition, contributes to contributes tremendously to the economic development. Okay, to economic development. We could say, and we, we could say to the economic development of Asian countries, of uh, tourist, uh, tourist orientated countries, because we, then we use the, and we're saying a specific type, okay, for Asian countries, for Western countries, for European countries. However, we didn't finish it, so we could just say contributes tremendously to economic development. Oops, please make a second, sorry. This is due to the fact that tourism can generate many employment opportunities in the um, okay in the hotel industry, airlines, and coach services. And to a guiding. Okay, and to a guiding. Once again, a long sentence that could have been cut. Okay, and when we're doing a list like this, the most common way to do it is one, two, and three. Done. Okay. Um, so here we could have just said, let's see, many employment opportunities in the hotel industry, transport airline industry okay in the hotel airline and uh, tour guiding industries comma additionally it also supports local industries okay and that would have been fine that would have been fine slightly longer than ix um, than i teach but it would have been okay um but we would have got a, a much easier to read list in there okay for example According to the world, we don't need a capital A there, be careful. For example, according to the World Travel and Tourism Council report last year, 30 million jobs were created in Indian, what? In India, we can't lose points there either. In India, as the number of domestic and international tourists increased significantly, therefore it is evident that tourism plays a vital role in the economic prosperity of the country. What's the question about traveling? We've gone off topic, Rabina. We're talking about the advantages of tourism. That's good. Okay. But we've 
yeah, we, we should be talking about travel, okay? If you'd have said more about um, the travel that tourism creates, you could have rescued it, but that is off topic. So double or triple check for task response next time. Secondly, travelers are considered as the main cause in the outbreak of communica communicable diseases. Communicable ki diseases does not exist. Okay, I, and I'm not entirely sure what that means. Let me just check. It might be a, a medical term. Okay, you got me. <laughs> I didn't realize. I didn't know. I think it must be like a, a more medical term. Okay. Um, so anyway, that's good. All right, let's see. Um, of communicable diseases. This is because international travelers are likely to get infected while traveling to epidemic areas and can impart a pathogen for instance once again same mistake um be careful we can't we don't want to use the same structure both cases okay so we'll say for instance for instance recent research from nepal ministry of health shows that the nepalese who traveled to india for work were the prime source of spreading hiv aids in nepal Therefore, it is clear that travelers are responsible for transmission of contagious diseases. So let's see. So here we could have said, all right, okay, that's, that's fine. That's fine. So we could have just been a bit more specific and just say, it's clear that international travelers, okay, are responsible for the transmission of contagious diseases. Okay. That's good, that's good. That's valid and we're on task response. Um, hopefully, the examiner would not be Nepalese, okay? Um, but it's okay, the argument's okay and we followed the structure, so that's good. And we're at 260 words, so that's fantastic. But we can't lose points like this and we can't lose points for repetition, okay? For excellent vocab vocabulary. In conclusion, there are advantages and disadvantages um, of the growth of travelers. Do we want the growth of travelers or do we just want traveling? Let's see. Okay, I guess we can use both. Both are okay. But if we're going to use the growth of travelers, please make sure it's grammatically correct. In the future, certain precautions are applied chances of tr transmission of infections could be minimized to a certain extent. That would be okay if the essay um, were about infectious diseases. It would have been much more appropriate to say, in the future, um, it is likely the trend, it is likely that the trend of international travel will continue to grow and hopefully precautions can be implemented to limit the downsides such as diseases, okay, or such as health dangers. Great work. This one on topic. This one off topic. This one a little bit too long, but all in all, great vocabulary and well done for remembering to use a future sentence. Let's just try to keep it a little bit more orientated to the main topic of the essay. You're doing well, Rabina. Keep on. Let's keep on improving. Okay, let's see. So the diagram shows the house plan consisting of two areas, the main floor and the lower level. Good. Overall idea, no story, genius. The four-bedroom house, good, is spread across 69-inch width, 36-inch. Is that foot? Or I would guess that would be foot. Yeah, these are inches. And those are foot or feet, okay? So be careful. It's 69 foot. Okay, so you'd, it'd be more likely to say the four-bedroom house has a width of 69 inches and a depth of, th uh, sorry, 69 foot and a depth of 36 foot, okay? That would be um, more accurate. Three out of four bedrooms, one within three out of four bedrooms. I don't understand. Okay, uh, maybe three out of four are bedrooms. 
and one is an ensuite. But that would have to be. So here we could say on the ground floor or on the main floor. But that still doesn't make any sense because we've got the living room and the garage. So I'm not clear of what that says. In general, is on the right. Okay, three out of four bedrooms. Okay, now I get you. Three out of four bedrooms with an ensuite. Okay, just ignore the ensuite for now. We just say the majority, all of the bathrooms are on the left hand side. On the right hand side is the main. All right, now I get you in general suite. In general, on the right side. I still don't understand it because if we were saying general is on the right side of the main floor, the right side of the main floor, which is the main floor, the right side is here. So that doesn't, I, I don't follow that. The left side is made up of the living room. Okay, so I would have said that's the right side. Garage, dining room, and kitchen. The lower level has a spacious activity room with laundry and bathroom in the um, opposite to it. We don't need in the, we just say a bathroom opposite to it. Okay, but good vocabulary there, well done. And this is accurate and it's descriptive, except that we need it to be on the right side. Okay, so the activity room is approximately double the size of the bedroom for, very good, or of bedroom for, genius. There is a patio in the rear of the main building which runs across the right, okay, and runs is also valid, and runs across the right side of the building, while the, okay, building, while the lower level has a terrace. Well done for using that construction, and you've used it correctly, good. A closet has been built in each bedroom. Bedroom two, three, and four are almost of same size, whereas the master bedroom is slightly bigger. Very good, what could we say instead of bigger to improve our vocabulary? Pause the video, think, well, we could use larger, okay? So good, um, so keep that in mind. Here we said spacious, so that's fantastic. So we can't, it's not wise to use it again. Overall, the garage and living room have consumed a larger area compared to the other rooms. Very good. Okay, good. Yeah, that's a valid point. We could say, overall, the largest rooms are the garage, living room, and activity room, and the smallest is most likely the lavatory or storage. Okay, and then we introduce our extremes, the superlatives, the, mo the most and the minimum, and that's gonna pick us up points. Okay, Rabina, good task one, very good. Like it that you're using these structures and this one here as well, that's a big improvement, good work. Biograph illustrates the total number of new and used cars sold in seven different villages in the year 2013. Genius, well done, great start. In Malfen, second hand car sales were higher by 156 than new cars. Okay, so we could say second car and cars, yeah. Second hand car sales were 156 um okay, let's see. So in Malfen. Um, the 156 second-hand cars, let me see, ah, so in Melton, second-hand car sales were larger by, or were higher by 156 compared to new cars, that still doesn't make sense, give me a second, so the best way would be to say in Melton, the 156 second, 156 more Second-hand car sales were registered than new car sales. That would have been the best way to do it. And I would strongly recommend writing out a sentence like that, a comparative sentence, uh, five different comparative sentences where this word was higher than that, okay? Honfer had the highest car sales or total car sales, which, which. So we wanted to say total car sales. Okay, so then there's no ambiguity. Had, totis, to, had the highest total car sales with 154 new and 650 used cars. Good. Almost two times more that of Slathway. Genius. Good. Evidently, Leverton had 
the lowest sales with 95 new and 120 used cars. Good. The number of old cars bought in Ebbeton with full vocabulary was nearly five times greater than that of Netherton, followed by Long Farm and Netherton. Okay, good. So I wouldn't mix a fancy sentence with the respectively sentence. There is, um, because it's not easy to follow a respectively sentence, um, especially if it's mixed with this. So here's the tip, keep it separately, but well done for using it, okay? Okay, so here actually is all right, but in the future, I would keep it separately, just for clarity, okay? Never found ca new car sales were slightly larger than that of Longley Farm, while sales of old cars were greater in Longley Farm. Okay, I don't understand. Ah, okay, okay, now I get you. Understood. As well, the most remarkable was the sales of Malcolm Holford and Netherton, uh, which were above 400. Each village purchased at least 25 more old cars than who, than what? I don't know. Each village, okay, in each village, sales of second hand cars were greater than new cars, except in Longley Farm. Okay, that would have been the best way to put it. And then we've got the overall trend, the overall idea of the graph and the exception. Okay, Rabina, great work. Let's carry on. And yeah, you know that what to do now. Send all the corrections, uh, send the error list and send it all together in one email and we're rocking. Okay, you're doing good.